good everyone and welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to be talking about applying materials in d5 render okay if you have not done so please do us a favor by hitting the like button subscribing to our channel for more content like this also hitting the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos that's it and done we are going to move on okay for the start we'll be using this sample d5 project so to apply materials we are just going to go to the asset libraries to do that we are going to go to this tab here and click on this asset okay and d5 actually requires data to load in the library so be wary of that and make sure you have a good internet connection so we're just going to go over here and we're going to see this model tab material tab and particle tab but for today's video we're going to be working with mainly with this material tab over here so the first thing i want to apply material on is this wall so to do that we're just going to go on that wall and roof and we're going to go wait for it to load a bit we're going to go to wall paint then we're just going to select a good plaster material so i think we're just going to use this white rough wall and just select it or we can use this white wall paint that is smooth but let me use this white rough wall because it has more texture for this video so as you can see the wall is actually appearing a bit dirty so we are just going to edit it to edit it you can type the shortcut i on your keyboard or you could just click on this tab over here and select the material then an interface pops up here in this interface you have option to change a lot of things about the material firstly we'll start with this color we want to make it beige or blue like it was before so we are just going to click on it and we are going to edit this color palette over here so we are going to adjust this first tab over here to blue then we're just going to increase the saturation a bit and we can also do that easily without adjusting any of this by just moving this tab over here and just moving it we want it dark blue a bit so we're just going to select that okay the specularness we don't want it to be very reflective so we're going to reduce the specular the specular property we're going to leave the roughness to be very high we are going to leave the metallic at zero and we don't need it to be glowing so we don't need to earn the emissiveness so we're just going to increase the scale by increasing the stretch once you're increasing the stretch make sure that this tab over here is not cut off if not the x and y axis will be adjusting differently so we're just going to uncheck it back and we're just going to change it to uh, let's use six so if you notice as i use six in this under this uv tab over here this six on the y axis also adjusted along with the x axis and i'm also going to click on this triplanar setting here and i'm just going to check it uh it's looking kind of weird so i'm going to reduce it back to 0 0.5 remember i didn't check this that's why the x and y axis are moving accordingly so i'm just going to leave it at this okay as you can see we have created a wall material so we're just going to go and create work apply material on the glass because glasses are very important in building renders so we are just going to go to asset once again and there are actually two ways of doing this i'm just going to show you the first method now so we are going to go under this glass and we are going to select pure plain glass that is normal glass here and we're just going to click on it then hover around where we want to place it then place it as you can see the thing has changed so we are going to click escape and close this library to edit it as usual we're going to just click i on our keyboard the shortcut and this editing pen comes up and we're just going to select it so the first thing i want to do in this glass is i want to tint it a bit uh, tinting it i'm not tinting it to be too black this way i'm just going to be tinted to be a bit gray then i'm going to increase the reflectivity to around 0 0.4 and i'm going to reduce the i'm going to leave the transparency i'm going to reduce the roughness and i think that is all for the glass i can also click on this material and i can also click on this copy tab over here to duplicate the material and for instance i want to copy it to this railing over here and i'm just going to click on it and place it for this railing i can still choose to adjust it further and i'm just going to click on this edit tab over here and i'm going to click on this and i'm just going to reduce the increase the darkness of the railing and i'm going to just leave it at this 
Okay, so the next material we are going to be applying is metallic material and specifically I want to use it for the munions of this window. So I'm just going to go to assets again and I'm going to go to metal. Oh, sorry, metal. Uh -huh. So then I'm going to wait for it to load a bit. Then I'm just going to select a dark metal or let's just select this mirror steel. Even though this is not the intended material I want to use, but I just want to show you the interface of D5 and the provisions they made to be able to adjust these materials to what you want them to be, even though you selected a different one. So I'm just going to go to it, I'm going to click this, and I'm going to firstly, I'm going to change this color to darken the metal. Okay, then I'm just going to reduce the reflectivity, I'm going to reduce the roughness, or rather increase the roughness, then I'm going to reduce this metallic, as you can see the properties has already changed. I'm also going to add one setting, I'm going to go to this uh, round corner, this round corner icon over here, then I'm just going to click on it. Then this, what this round corner does is that it bevels the edges automatically for you. So you don't need to bevel the edges while you are in a modeling software like Revit or uh, SketchUp. So um, D5 can automatically bevel the edges once you apply materials. So we're just going to reduce the, da the darkness of the munions again. We're going to reduce the metallic na nature of it. And then I think this descent for the dark munions I want. Then I'm just going to copy it to this in our munions. Okay, that for metal. Then we're just going to apply materials on these masonry stones or stone tiles. So to do that, we're just going to go to assets. Under assets, we're going to go to wall tiles this time around so we're just going to look for some nice bricks we can use for this and I think this is pretty good so I'm just going to select it and I'm going to place it then I'm going to click X then I can also just click on this um, edit icon as usual and I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to change this okay this is at custom that is good then I'm just going to turn on this triplanar settings here and I'm going to reduce the scale of it or rather increase the scale so I'm going to change it to 0 0.75 okay and I think that is quite appropriate so we can also do the same and just copy this material from here to this place okay so the next material we're going to work on is actually these grass materials okay so to do gra grass materials is actually quite different because of if you go to this asset for instance and you go to this outdoor and you go to ground Let's take time to load and you go to ground so you can see some ground materials here but if i even apply them let's use for this grassland for instance um, it's not actually what i want because it's actually still 2d grass so to actually get a 3d glass in d5 grass sorry you are just going to click on this edit tab over here to edit the materials click on the materials then go over to this material template click on the drop down icon then select this grass icon over here and it's going to load in some 3d grasses you can still adjust some settings in the 3d grasses by increasing the height by increasing the density by also even um, reducing the map of the actual it aside from the 3d nature it actually has a grass map so i can just in, reduce it to actually make it look better by maybe changing it to six as you can see the uh, bitmap is actually coming in well better than before so that is done all for the, the grass uh, materials next we are going to be loading in a material from an external library in d5 so to do that we're just going to go over to the material and just select the material i want to um, edit now we're just going to go to this base color map and we're just going to change this and uh, click on this box over here and we're going to here we have the material i want to load in from an external library so we're just going to load in this preview image first and we're just going to load it in then we're also going to load in the normal this box over here and also name it if you are downloading pbr materials it actually comes with separate images for each of these boxes and your own job is to place them according to the properties of the box for instance i selected this normal tab over here then i'm going to select this normal image pm png file over here just to match it then i'm going to going to click it and click open then i'm going to also going to select the specular that is the reflective and i'm just going to 
Okay, I don't think they have a preview for the specular, the specular uh, material. Then I'm just going to select this AO and I'm just going to replace it over here. Then I'm also going to select, see if uh, they have this material. I can also select the roughness too by clicking on this roughness icon over here. Then I'm just going to pick this roughness height. I think that is it. So as you can see, the image now has texture and if I want to increase the relief or the roughness, it will actually reflect. I can also add some more settings by adding this um, round corner to just bevel the edges. And that is how to, pretty much that is how to import a material from outside D5 from an external library. So last but not the least, I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply in luminous materials. So to do that, you're just going to simply click on the material and you're just going to on this emissive. Then once you're on the emissive, you see this tab over here to increase the intensity. So we're just going to change the intensity to 50. Now we're going to click enter. As you can see, the material has started glowing. You can to adjust the color or the temperature. You can either choose between this color and adjust it to any color you want, or you can just choose and click on this temperature tab and you can just increase the temperature to get the desired color or the desired effect you want okay that is all for this material video today if the video was helpful please hit the like button share with your friends subscribe to the channel for more content like this hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos thank you very much and have a nice day